We are attempting to look at trigonometry this time around, but looking at problems that require us to simplify the type of questions that focus on reduction formulae. And the notion of reduction formulae is at the center of trigonometry at school level, and we focus on this. If you need to simplify sine squared of theta, um, divided by the sine of uh, 180 degrees minus theta times so the cosine of uh, 90 degrees plus theta plus the tangent of 45 degrees. We we'll look at the solution to this in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. Okay, if you have this particular question, what do we do? The numerator is um, already a single trig ratio, so we leave it as it is, a sine squared of theta. The numerator is okay. And then the denominator, you need to think of where this is, okay? Um, 180 minus theta, in which quadrant is 180 minus theta? Do you remember that? We forgot because we discussed this a little bit. Okay, quadrants. Right, 180 minus theta. 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant. And in the, right? Yes, in the second quadrant, I drew the cast diagram yesterday, but I'm going to look at it again today. So it's in the second quadrant. The second quadrant is a quadrant in which the trigonometric sign itself is positive. So you're going to have the sign of theta. 90 plus theta is in the second quadrant. The cosine is negative in the second quadrant. So negative, but there's a co-function change because at 90 degrees, you remove the co and you're left with sine theta. Okay, the 10 of 45, the general, the tangent of 45, uh, 45 is a special angle and the tangent of 45 is actually equal to one. Like so. In the numerator, then we have exactly sine squared theta, one minus sine times sine is sine squared of theta. The numerator therefore remains as sine squared of theta divided by, what is one minus sine squared? One minus sine squared is actually cosine squared. Sine of a cosine is a quotient identity, and sine of a cosine is the tangent squared of theta. So yeah, we have, we're done with this. The tangent squared is a single trigonometric ratio of theta, so there's nothing for us to do to sort of simplify these. Any question, please? No. No question. So you get to think of this. Now, a couple of things I want us to sort of make mention of, uh, the cast diagram is a very important one. Okay, so if you have zero degrees here, you have 90 degrees there, you have 180 degrees there, 170 degrees there, and 360 degrees there. So all positive. Cosine theta, 10 theta, this is the trigonometric sine of what? Of theta. Okay, this is sort of the cast diagram. And now if you have, for example, so if you're here and you go back like this, is you have 180 degrees minus. And that puts you, this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, uh, this is three, and this is four. In which case, therefore, if you have this one plus 180 plus theta, this is minus theta, this is plus theta. So 180 minus theta is in quadrant two, in which the sign is positive. That is why this is positive. Um, 90 plus, okay? So obviously if you're moving from 90 to 180 degrees here, you'd actually therefore be talking about uh, 90 degrees plus theta, okay? 90 degrees plus theta. Uh, 90 degrees plus theta, puts you in the second quadrant in which only the sine is positive and therefore the cosine becomes negative. But there's something I spoke about and I'm gonna reiterate that called the COCO rule. Right, so the COCO rule actually um, indicates one thing. So the COCO rule means that we have that uh, the, if there's a co at 90 degrees, uh, you remove the co, so there's cosine, and you remove the co and you're left with sine. 
if there's no call, then the COCO rule says you put on the call getting a call sign. Okay, so, uh, right. So just focus on that and get to think of these things. Next question. Now, here, the next question is as follows. Right, so in the next question, we have the sine of 104 degrees, and then we have two into cosine squared of 15 degrees minus one. The tangent of 38. So in here, you have this sine squared of 412 degrees. So a couple of things we need to think about here. Okay, there's a giveaway here for the identities that we need to remember. We need to remember that when you have cosine 2x, it is 2 cosine squared x minus 1. So, yeah, cosine 2, this. So right now, what we have... Right, is now we have 104 degrees and now you have 38 degrees here. So we need to think of the right sort of reduction formula because now here you have 412 degrees. So you need to think of how you can deal with these in a very, very useful manner. Let's reason together. The 104 degrees can be seen in many, many ways. How can it be seen, this one? So you can write the sign here. Right, a couple of ways to do this. If you think, for example, that in the denominator, you have the tangent of 38 degrees and 38 is a reasonably small angle. So you can, in the meantime, keep 38 degrees. Okay, we're tending to reduce the larger angle. So at this point here, you have, the sine squared of 412, which is 360 degrees plus, okay, so, or, which is uh, um, actually 52 degrees. Okay, let's check this one. Because if you have 360 plus 52, you're getting exactly 412. Yes. 412. Okay, good. So you think you need to make sure that uh, these numbers are correct so that uh, it works beautifully. So in other words, if you have 360 plus uh, 52, you get exactly a 412. And then now you have this one, which is 104 degrees. This 104 degrees um, can be related to this. How is it? Obviously, because it is an obtuse angle. So you need to reduce that. So you can look at it as 90 degrees. 90 degrees plus, plus 14. 90 degrees plus 14 degrees. So cosine two x is two cosine squared minus one, which is cosine two into 15 degrees. Two into 15 degrees. What happens to the one? Okay, because cosine two x is equal to two cosine squared x minus one. It's it's a, it's, it's an identity. It's it's sort of the formula we're using. So because cosine two x has three identities, um, and we're going to discuss this again in detail. Cosine two x can also be written as cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Okay, but also cosine two x can be seen as one minus two sine squared x. Okay, so that kind of thing that you have there. Okay, now let's continue with the analysis of this. So the top, for example, in which quadrant is 90 plus, is in the second quadrant in which the sign is positive, but at 90 degrees, there's a core function change, so this is going to become cosine of 14 degrees. Cosine of 30 degrees. Change end of 38 degrees. 360 plus is in each quadrant. 360 plus is in the first quadrant where all the functions are positive, and therefore, this is what it can be seen as the, the the result is positive, but it becomes therefore just a sine squared of 52 degrees. 
Okay, now let's look at this and think carefully and see. Um, 30 degrees is a special angle, so we're good. And therefore we can fix that out. 14 degrees is actually um, a very interesting smaller angle. So 52 degrees now can be made similar to any of this. For example, um, somebody can look at the 52 degrees and you can minus something from it. Um, what can you subtract? You can subtract uh, 38 from it. Okay, so now what do we have here? So in the numerator, we have cosine 14, cosine 30. Right, so we have cosine 14 degrees. We have cosine 30 degrees. Okay, so, which is tan 38 degrees. The sine squared of 52 degrees. Okay, so we have this. Now, in the denominator, we have, we can keep the 38 degrees, and then we reduce this one to 90 degrees minus 38 degrees. 90 minus 38 is 52. Cosine 14 degrees. Cosine 30 can be quickly done. Right, because if this is 60 degrees 30, so which means cosine 30 now in view of Soka Tower. The cosine is adjacent of hypotenuse at 30, adjacent of hypotenuse at 30, so which is the square root of 3 out of 2. So which means, therefore, we have the 10 of 38 degrees. 90 minus is in the first quadrant, 90 minus theta, 90 minus 38 is in the first quadrant in which all the functions are positive, but um, that is all the trigonometric functions are positive, meaning the sine is positive, but there's a co-function change at 90. So that sine, according to the co-co rule. Right, so we use the co-co rule and the co-co rule is clear on this front. And the co-co rule says that if there's no co, you put on the co and sine becomes cosine and only write cos um, squared of 38 degrees, like so. So let's see what we get here. So now at this point, uh, what do we get here? In the numerator, we still have the cosine of 14 degrees. divided by the denominator, which is the tangent of 38, multiplied by cosine squared of 38. 38 degrees, and here we have the square root of three out of two. Okay, now let's look at what we get here. Okay, now at this point in the denominator, what you have is the tangent is the sine of 38 using the quotient identity over cosine 38 degrees. And this is cosine squared 38 degrees. Okay, this one here you can write here the cosine, you can write the square root of three and then put the two here. And then here you have cosine 14 degrees. Now, at this point, uh, you perform cancellation here. Cosine 38 is going to cancel one of these, leaving us with a one. So now that means that we have the following. 
Square root of three, cosine 14 degrees divided by two into the sine of 38 degrees times cosine 38 degrees. Super question. Now, this is very important for us because we have this. Now, the cosine 38 has just removed one of the, because here there was cosine squared, so there was cancellation. There was cancellation here. Okay, right. So this is equal to square root of three. Cosine 14 degrees. Divided by two into the sine of 38 degrees. Cosine 38 degrees. Hmm. We need to recall some identity here. These were super questions during the years of higher grade mathematics. So, so that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. I have a strong feeling this one came from the past higher grade papers. Choose the book I'm using. Right, and therefore this is cosine theta. So Wherever you see sine 2 theta in mathematics, it is 2 sine theta cosine theta. It's, 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 it's an identity. It is an identity. So that in the end, we're going to get what? The square root of 3? We just divide it by now two sine thirty eight cosine thirty eight like two sine theta cosine theta is sine two theta so it's sine of double the angle is called a double angle formula so it's two into thirty eight sine two into thirty eight degrees fourteen degrees divided by okay now what is thirty eight times two looks like a 76 degrees. Yes. Okay, good. Right, let's separate this appears to have come from uh, some of the higher grade papers um, in the past. <laughs> it uh, looks quite an aggressive question, a bit lengthy as well. So now, you know, the authors of the book, sometimes they use old questions that were very, very aggressive. So cosine 14 degrees, you divide by the denominator, which is exactly the sine of 76 degrees. Okay, you need to simplify this. The way to simplify this is to make 14 like seven, like 76, or to make 76 a 14, but in a mathematically correct way. So you need to think of some of the reduction formula. You can say 90 minus something. Okay, oh. the, practice is, the practice is to reduce a larger angle to a much smaller angle. Okay, these are both acute angles. Acute angles are those smaller than 90 degrees. So, which means we can take this 76 and say, if we are to say 90 degrees minus 14 degrees, that must be about 76. Okay, 76, good. So yeah, so these questions, what you need to do with these questions, you need to repeat them, repeat them. Okay, you repeat these questions to make sure that you're good. All right. Okay, we we'll continue. So square root of three, 14 degrees. Okay, now there's a core function change here. Okay, watch the core function change that you're getting. Because at 90 degrees, according to the, we use the COCO rule, and the COCO rule dictates a little bit of core function changes. So now we have a 90 in the denominator. So we're going to use the COCO rule. And the COCO rule says now if you have 90 degrees minus, 90 minus is in the first quadrant where all trigonometric functions are positive. So the answer is going to be positive, but it's going to change from sine because sine is not core. You put a core, it becomes cosine. And the minute you write cosine, we write only cos of 14 degrees. 
And we are in business now because you can see this one cancels this. And the, and the answer is the square root of three. Okay, so quite a lengthy question, but I'm sure that you've had a chance to sort of um, explore a little bit and learn a theme or two from it. Um, and so there are a lot more questions that we're going to be doing this morning just to make sure that we good enough to learn and master mathematics and make sure that you scoop the distinction. We have a lot of work to do, please. It's not just uh, um, jokes and what, whatever. Um, you, we have a lot to practice. We have a lot of mathematics to do. We have different questions to practice. How do you learn mathematics? You learn with repetition. So you repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat until you're good, until you're good. Let us look at this particular question here. No reduction for me. Okay, this one. Okay, we're trying to simplify here. So the instruction in the question is clear. It says simplify. Right. Simplify when you have been given. The sine of 90 degrees minus theta. The tangent of 180 degrees minus theta. Divided by the cosine of minus theta. The sine of 180 degrees plus theta. So we need to remember what we have learned in terms of the cast diagram. So here you have cosine theta or positive the sine of theta the tangent of theta zero degrees ninety degrees one hundred and eighty degrees two hundred and seventy degrees and three hundred and sixty degrees. So now here you would have 180 degrees minus 180 plus 90 degrees minus to go back. Okay, pretty enough for this question. But a couple of things are very important for us to remember. This is the first one, the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, the fourth one. Okay, let's look at this now. 90 minus theta. In each quadrant is 90 minus theta, according to the diagram. The second one. Please check again. 90 oh, minus the first. the first. Okay, the first. But all positive. All positive here. So sign is positive here. So sign is positive, but there is a core. Uh, there is a, a core function change at 90 degrees, so there's not co on the sine, put on a co and it becomes cosine theta. 180 minus theta in each quadrant is it? It's in the second, and the second quadrant on the sine is positive, and therefore the term is negative there. So now cosine of minus theta, the cosine is an even function. So cosine of minus theta is just cosine theta, like this. 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant, and the third quadrant only 10 is positive, and therefore the sign is negative. Okay, what do we get out of this here? 
Cosine cancels out. Negative cancels out. And we're left with Okay, negative, negative yeah, negative cancels out giving us a positive, and therefore we have sine theta. theta. Yes. Yeah. The, the tangent of theta is sine over what? Cosine theta. Okay. Tan theta is sine theta over cosine theta, which is sine theta over one. And then here you have sine theta over cosine theta multiplied by one over sine theta. Okay, so we get this. Okay, so now obviously if you're dividing by sine theta over one, is the same as multiplying by one over. Okay, so it's the law of division. So in the end, then um, what you're getting here is that you have one of a cosine left. So which means the full the answer is actually equal to one over cosine theta. So here's the question. We're to simplify this and went through this and we got one of a cosine, and the answer is um, one of a cosine theta. Another question. Still, we need to proceed to simplify. Right, so we need to simplify the following. If we have the sign of 180 degrees minus x, The cosine of 90 degrees minus x divided by the cosine of 360 degrees minus x. Ninety degrees plus x. So, so you have cast here. All positive cosine theta, sine theta, ten theta. We have zero degrees, ninety degrees, one eighty degrees, two seventy degrees and 360 degrees. So if you have like 180 degrees minus theta, where in this quadrant, this is quadrant one, two, three, four. 180 minus is in that one. Simultaneously, if you have 90 plus, it's here. Here you have 90 degrees minus theta. Okay, now we continue. So this one here is gonna be 90 degrees minus. So 90 minus is in the first quadrant, 90 plus is in the second quadrant. 360 degrees minus theta. So, so 180 minus is in the second quadrant where the sign is positive, so this one is going to be positive. 180 minus, 90 minus, 90 minus is in the first where all the functions are positive there. But there's a co-function change at 90 because there's a co, according to the co, -co rule, remove the co from cosine and you get the sign of x. In the denominator, you have the 360 minus x. 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant where only the cosine is, is positive and therefore the result is gonna be positive cosine x. 
90 plus is in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, we know very well that all this sign is positive, and therefore the cosine becomes what? Becomes negative. But it's a call function change because you have 90. If there's a call, the call call rule. It's going to be sine. It's going to be sine. Going to the call call rule, if there's no call, if there's a call, like you have cosine and you cross out the call and you are left with only the sign. So in other words, here, because it's 90 degrees, you must remove the call and remove the call with the sign. But 90 plus is in the second quadrant where cosine is negative sign. Okay, let's check what we're getting here. Right, any cancellations of things? Like we can see sine and sine. Okay. Right, so you can see okay. sine and sine appearing. So sine cancels out. You can cancel even all either this one and that one. Okay, so just canceling two of them. One sine in the numerator and another one did not error. And therefore you have minus, and you have minus sine x over cosine x, which is minus the tangent of what? Tangent of x, and that is the answer to this. Where do we get the tangent? Um, because sine of a cosine is always tangent. Okay, it's called the quotient identity, quotient identity. So we learn that the quotient identity Quotient identity is that if you have the tan of x, it is sine x over cosine x. It's called the quotient identity. It's a quotient. Next question. I wanted us. I want us to just look at a lot of these simplified questions so that we can sort of have a pattern here of mastery. One eighty degrees plus X. Divide by the sine of minus X times the cosine of three hundred and sixty degrees minus X. Okay, I need to recall the diagrams that we drew. So you have this one called the cast diagram. So if this one is zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. So now, okay, let's look at this. So at this point, if you have, this is the usual cast diagram, cast, cast diagram. So here you have 180 degrees minus, and then here you have 180 degrees plus. Right, you have this. And here you have 360 degrees minus theta. Okay, now uh, look, there are a couple of things I want us to sort of focus on here um, that remain extremely important for us. Um, okay. Okay, 180 minus is in the second quadrant. So, one, two, three, four. 
So now at this point, we have 180 minus. So now if you have 180 minus, you are in the second quadrant in which the sign is positive. So it's going to be positive then. But this is going to be positive and is positive sine x. 180 minus x is in the second quadrant where the sign is the only one positive, but the cosine is going to become what? Negative. Cosine x. Now we have the 10 of 180 plus x. 180 plus x is in the third quadrant, and the 10 is positive there. Positive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's the tangent of x. Because it's 180 plus, and 180 plus puts us in the thicket in the third quadrant, and the third quadrant. The yeah, the, the tangent is indeed positive there. Next. The sine of minus x is minus sine x. 360 minus in which quadrant is it? It's in the fourth. The fourth. Okay. In the fourth, only the cosine is positive, and therefore. We have cosine here, and this way it's going to be positive cosine x. So now, in the end, what we have is therefore that can you do cancellation of the things that are popular in the cosines. Yes, and so what is the answer? What are we left with here after cancellation? What do we have? We have the tangent of x. Okay, because the, the rest of these things are gone. It's only tangent that's left, but you have the negative and negative. And negative and negative, they give us a plus, giving us the tangent of x. So this is sort of one way to simplify this problem. The next thing I give is a home activity for you. <laughs> Right, home yeah. activity. Sunshine, you said we're going to do those um corrections. We didn't do them. Yeah, okay. We're gonna yeah, just okay, yeah, I'm gonna do them. Um yeah, but uh, it's very important to you can just uh, remind me in terms of which particular ones because I'm sure they're not. Okay, there are a lot of things, you know. So I need to just be yeah. sure. So that I can do the ones that the I ones um, I sent you the last time I said we must give me this custom. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna take a look at those and we shall do them. Okay. Right. So you have 360 degrees plus theta. Three sixty degrees minus theta. So you divide here, you divide by the sine of 180 degrees plus theta plus the sine of 90 degrees plus theta. Divide it by the cosine um okay this is the home activity that you need to try so given this try this and see what you get and then we shall meet again I'm projecting 8 p.m. is our lesson time, but we can do a lesson before that. Okay. Well, we can do a lesson before that. Before 8 p.m. Yeah, but I mean, I'm going to check on you and see your program for the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what time? Um, I'll have to check. I'll well, let we you can't know. discuss those ones you took. With. Yeah, the, the corrections, the corrections, right? Uh huh? We can discuss the corrections, right? Sunshine, I can't hear you. Yeah, we can discuss the corrections. Yeah, that, that's for some specific. Yes. yes, the corrections. Yeah, we, we shall discuss the corrections.